My name is Hannah Senior from PBS International and while we're in lockdown all over the world and we can't go and see our seed producer and plant breeder customers as we might normally, we thought we'd take the opportunity to share with you, our customers, a little bit of the plant life right here in the UK. And today I thought I would talk to you about this tree right here, which is the European ash tree, Latin name Fraxinus or Fraxinus excelsior. It's one of the most common trees in the UK. Um, it can grow up to 35 metres tall. And in addition to being one of the most common trees, it also appears very frequently among hedgerows. Um, normally the hedgerows are a mixture of species and ash is, is very common amongst them. The family is the Oleaceae family, um, which includes olives and lilac and a lot of sort of woody shrubs. Um, and ash is, has been, been used for hundreds and hundreds of years, probably millennia, for its hard, dense wood, um, which is also very elastic. So, for example, it was often used for bows and arrows, um, for, the, for the bows, because of its elasticity. It's one of the later trees to get its leaves, which means that at this time of year, um, mid, mid to late May, it's very easy to spot because it looks a bit thin. Um, but increasingly, many of the branches are not getting leaves at all, and that's due to a disease called ash dieback. Um, it's a fungal disease which originated in Asia, where it had co-evolved with the Asian ash. But as it spread into Europe, um, the, the European ash species don't have any resistance to it, and it's estimated that as many as 95% of all the European ash trees will eventually die as a consequence of that fungus, which is, you know, really have a devastating impact on the landscape and the woodland and the hedgerows um, around, around the UK.